Today, I want to review the Luban 16.5 block plane. As you can see, it is very similar to the Lee Nielsen 16.5. Approximately the same weight, very similar features, some minor design changes. I think the bronze up here may be a little wider or the advancing wheel a little bit smaller, not the advancing wheel, the locking wheel. The advancing nut on the back or knob, they are different and the mechanisms are different. I honed to 1000 and then I stropped with Tormek paste. That's it. That's about 6000 grit. It's not like I'm going to 12,000 or 30,000 grit on some fancy stone. Very similar results from both planes. Very similar. Same sharpness. The only difference is my Lee Nielsen has a hock iron in it. Had them custom made. I like 01 tool steel. just cuts sublimely. I love my Lee Nielsen. I've had a lot of Stanleys and records and other ones over the years, but once I got the Lee Nielsen, that was all I ever needed. So we're down here at uh, probably about a half a thousandth or less. I don't have a way to measure it. It just Seems like it's giving the same exact results as the Lee Nielsen. So, is it a good plane? Is it a copy? Is it a clone? Is it a cousin? Regardless, if you can get the Luban in your country where you live, give it a try. Uh, it's an affordable alternative. I will always recommend Lee Nielsen here in the United States as a top-notch tool manufacturer. And I will always buy Lee Nielsen whenever I can. But people have been asking me about the Luban. So I figured I'd get one in try it out. So what do you think? I could do this all day. Could you watch it all day? Maybe we should open a planing channel where Walter planes all day long. <laughs> that would be fun. Well that's enough for now. Just thought you'd like to see what it can do. Walter over and out.